The Oldsmobile Cutlass was a series of automobiles produced by GM. They had cars with this name between 1961 and 1999. When introduced, the Cutlass was Oldsmobile's entry-level class. The name Cutlass is a type of sword, which was common during ancient times. In our video series we will look at cars of the first Cutlass generation, from the very beginning in 1961 to 63. Introduced as the top level in Olds Compact F85 series in the early years, the Cutlass evolved into its own series. It includes the 442 muscle car in 1964, the premium Cutlass Supreme in 66 and others. We will describe in a follow-up video. In 1961 the F85 was first offered in two body styles, a four-door sedan or a four-door station wagon, and in a choice of two trim levels, base or deluxe. Transmission options were a three-speed manual and the newly introduced three-speed roto hydromatic. There was also a power pack option available. Standard engine was the new Rocket 215-inch 3 all-aluminum V8. With a two-barrel carburetor it was rated 155 brake horsepower. Specs for the base engine remained the same throughout 1961 to 1963. Later in 1961 Oldsmobile added two types of two doors, the F85 Club Coupe and the sporty F85 Cutlass. Sales figures increased then. Here we see a comparison of Oldsmobile 1961 dashboards. First a Cutlass, then the dash of an 88 Oldsmobile. The Cutlass had instruments paste in a box layout behind the steering wheel. The 88 had elliptic instruments under the speedometer. What is the difference between the F85 Cutlass and the Club Coupe? The F85 Cutlass has a straight chrome spear on the side, the Club Coupe trim bends downward in the rear. The next Oldsmobile Cutlass is worn out, but a very original car. Note the simple linear design of the rear with the lights. A color vintage photo concludes the 1961 Oldsmobile year in this video. There were not many changes in the 1962 Oldsmobile manufacturing year. In the front, 1961 cars have thick chrome bezels around the headlights. The 1962 counterparts don't. 1962 saw the Oldsmobile Jetfire. It was a cutless pillarless hardtop with a turbocharged version of the 215 V8. It was the first ever turbocharged production car. Equipped with a Garrett turbocharger, the turbo rocket engine was rated at 215 bhp. The Jetfire came with bucket seats and trim, two chrome fins on the hood and full-length contrast stripes on the body sides. The Jetfire costed $300 more than a standard F85. Ultimately the Jetfire engine was far ahead of its time. It produced more torque than a naturally aspirated engine that was twice its size. This car with an elegant dark red vinyl interior has a manual transmission. Additionally Olds added a convertible to their line of cars in 1962. This is a 1962 F85 Cutlass. I prefer to show originals, so we can familiarize ourselves with unmodified cars. This includes the paint, or what is left of it. The engines were the same like in the year prior. This one has the manual transmission. This dark red example is in good shape. The trunk holds the spare tire. Trunk carpet and wheel cover plate are all original. Two more original cars, both in flawless shape. Finally a 1962 paper ad, emphasizing the manual transmission, the sporty styling, the aluminum engine and the optional power package. The F85 was restyled for the 1963 model year to a more squared off design. This was kind of unique model year, so trim parts are often scarce. The 1963 line had 4 inches to the rear overhang. Three row seating was dropped on station wagons. The engine was basically the same like in the previous years, just the compression rate increased. While four doors were produced in high numbers, they became rare. Here is a surviving black example in good shape. Not many 1963 station wagons were produced. Here we see cars with original paint. The rear shows a very distinct styling. A few more 1963 cars. We can see the rear lights with the characteristic chrome bezels.
Bucket seats indicate that the car is the deluxe version. Unfortunately the innovative engine suffered from problems from high compression and sometimes failed. Olds gave up on this aluminum V8 in 1963. We conclude the year 1963 with an ad of a blue Oldsmobile F85, boasting of 185 horsepower in the aluminum V8, and being a charmer of the low-priced field. Finally an advertising showing a 1963 Oldsmobile Jetfire, praising Olds turbo power and its super-fast acceleration. Indeed, first of its kind, this ad is telling the truth. This is the end of our journey today. Featuring the first generation of Oldsmobile Cutlass and F85 cars. Subscribe to see the upcoming video about the second Cutlass generation, 1964 to 1967. Thank you for watching. More original classic cars and information you find at classiccarszone.org.